This is called a Shiki Bhutan. It's so great. Uh, I've been sleeping on this for like two months now and wow, <laughs> it's insane. It's like hugging a big pillow. My goal with this video is by the end of it, you're going to take your bed, throw it out the window and buy one of these. Let me tell you why. One thing we know about sleep is that it's important. Sleeping is your body's best friend and without it, we're just not ourselves. But I question whether companies actually care about your health or whether they care about making money. What if the best bed is possibly not one at all? So if you follow my channel, you know that I recently did a challenge where I slept on the ground, only the ground for two weeks. It was great. And I realized there's a lot of benefits to sleeping on a hard surface, but also with that, there was a little bit of pain, not a lot, but just a little bit of pain from not having something to support the bone. Well, there was support, but it wasn't uh, a soft support to say the least. And that's kind of what a shiki bhutan is. It's still support, but it's also soft where you can be comfortable and sleep on it. And that's what's amazing about this is you get the sleep that you need while giving you the back the support that it also needs. Now the back is pretty amazing if you think about it. It's beautiful in the sense that it can bend and move and twist and do all of these things, but it only can take so much. And when we are slouching, sitting in chairs all day, slouching in our car, staring at a computer screen, slouching at the desk. This is how your back is turning to shit. And then on top of that, you go home and you lay on a cushioned bed. I think if you are someone who sits down all day or does these things, you need to be sleeping on a hard surface even more because your body is not being correctly aligned. If you think about your back as being something that needs support, why would we put it in something that gives it none? When companies make things like products like beds or shoes, what they try to do is they try to make it appealing to the consumer. So that means soft, that means cushiony, that means possibly inexpensive, but most of the time it comes at the cost of your health. So enough, enough talking about that. Let's talk about the Shiki Bhutan that I got myself and what it is. So Shiki Bhutan is a Japanese style futon bed, a traditional style Japanese one made out of cotton on the inside. It's about three inches thick. And the cool part about the Shiki Bhutan that makes it kind of what it is, is the fact that it can be folded up. And of course there's a much more detail that you can go into in regards to the backstory behind the Shiki Bhutan and Japanese history, but we're just more talking about the benefits and how we can possibly use it in our society and our world today. Now this video isn't sponsored by any company in specific, but the one I did buy from was called the Futon Shop. I wouldn't necessarily suggest buying from them, however, their policy for returning is extremely strict. But the one I got was amazing and I'm more of just promoting the Shiki Bhutan itself. Now I'll leave links in the description for all of the ones that I would suggest and you can possibly look at those and make your best decision. And they're pretty inexpensive. The one I got was like $350, which is pretty good. The sheet that I put on is just a regular bed sheet that was actually on my previous bed. And I was actually able to sell my bed and my bed frame for more money in the end than what the Shiki Bhutan cost me. So that's crazy. Now there's three things I would suggest to look out for when you're buying a Shiki Bhutan. I personally would suggest it either made out on the inside out of cotton or wool. Specifically cotton is more traditional to the original Shiki Bhutans. And if you can get it organic, you know, depending upon if you're into that, those types of things, I would highly suggest it. Also, you want to look out for the cover. What is the cover made out of um, organic, those types of things. Now, the last thing to look out for is the right, correct size. Uh, you want to make sure that you're getting something that's right around three inches thick. The one I personally got is indeed three inches. Quickly, let's go into the cons that I have for the Shiki Bhutan, because I do have some, not very many, but I think they're worth mentioning and worth talking about. So let's get that out of the way. First thing is, is I wish mine was just a bit thinner. Uh, I know over time it will get that way and that's specific to mine but I think the thinner you can get it the more realistic it's going to be to kind of the way your back and the way your body should be also it's kind of heavy not like really heavy but it is it is kind of heavy kind of bulky it's not something you can just kind of pick up and move around it's kind of hard to I don't know it's it's a weird weird heaviness I don't know it's it's weird and the last thing is the shape of the Shiki Bhutan when I put my cover on it it curves the sides a little bit and it turns into this like weird shape or whatever when it's supposed to be kind of a square shape like a you know futon should be not that it's a big deal but i kind of like the way memory foam beds looked and how they retained the shape really really well and you didn't see all the wrinkles 
just a little side note, you know, thing. Uh, it's not a big deal, but it's something worth mentioning. But I would say that's the only cons really for mine, myself. I mean, when it came, it didn't smell like anything or anything like that. It was just, it was good. So yeah, highly suggest it. My argument is simply that less is more and we should be obtaining to that. We don't need to be sold on these crazy beds made out of polyurethane and polyester and elastic and all of these things when we could just be sleeping on a little bit of cushion. That's better for us in the end. Less is more.